So why they call it a cliffhanger? Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen, and welcome back to Deltarune Chapter 2. I am completing a secret, and to uh, figure the secret out for yourself, you're either going to have to play the game for yourself, or you are going to have to go back and watch an earlier episode. I'm completing a secret. We are doing something for Spamton. Oh, this door is locked now. That's strange. I just thought of a massive drop of lore. Are we ready to hear it? When we saw the Jevil fight, and we Jeveled three times, it was a 3D environment. Yes. That. When we went down to unblock this other secret area, we found a 3D area that we had to go down on a lot of teacups. It seems as though all of these devils are three-dimensional in this uh, quite purposefully made two-dimensional game. So I feel like there is something afoot here. I feel like there's something bigger than us. I feel like there's something bigger than Chris. There's something bigger than the game. Something bigger than Deltarune and Undertale. And it could have something to do with us being some kind of exorcist. Can't you see your world's fantasy? Yes. Jevil and Spanton know that it's a game. Yes! That is because they are demonic presences. They know that it's a game. Because they are in the third dimension, whereas this dark world is two-dimensional. Imaginary, almost. We'll insert the loaded disc. And I feel like because it's two-dimensional, we also haven't had anything from the dark world, which we uh, go down into having our adventures and fights with. Never bleeds into the light world, but the light, bleed always, the light world always bleeds into the dark world. So I'm getting the strong suspicion that... Real world or light world influences are being put into this dark world, which is a projection of our imagination as a child, uh, also being influenced by the other children around us. And there are also some sinister interceptions by these other demonic presences. And that is what this game is about, necessarily. Because someone made them suddenly go crazy? Doesn't it sound suspicious to you? It does sound suspicious, doesn't it? It sounds very suspicious. Okay, we put it back, nothing happened. Yet. Dude, it's not a horror game. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's not a horror game. You call that, you call that normal. He's got wings. So I've got a suspicion. This is obviously spammed him, by the way. Holy Gundagaroo, do I feel good? He's got wings. Here I am, Chris. Big, big, bigger and better than ever. Ha ha! This power is freedom! I won't have to be just a puppet anymore! Or so I thought. Now, we found out that there are three people, well, I, I guess, basically, through um, reading in between the lines. Spamton is made up of three entities. One is digital, one is demonic, and the other one is an actual person. Chat has told me that Mike, the person, is supposed to be kind of like the presenter of a t of a of a commercial, right? 1997 for the drink big shot. But religious connotation, Michael is also an archangel who descended from from heaven as God's fist, essentially to kind of combat the Antichrist. What if we, Chris, are the Antichrist? Because Jevil seemed very very into us as well. Jevil had a 3D environment. Spamton has 3D environments as well. I feel like we might actually be the Antichrist. I feel like that is the overarching story of uh, Undertale, which I haven't played, and Deltarune, necessarily. You're making this way creepier than it has to be. Yeah, but the developer put this in the game. And when a developer puts something in a game, especially a solo developer, they put it in with love and attention and dedication to the narrative that they want to craft. And Toby Fox is no exception to any of these rules. In fact, if anything, he's a master at his craft. So why would he not put this kind of like overarching um, battle between good and evil behind the scenes of the game to justify these secret bosses in the 3D environments? Jevil was a devil. Jevil liked us. Spamton appears to be some kind of angel. Spamton seems to be trying to use us to, to some extent. So we have common ground. So I'm being led to think that we are the Antichrist. Goats are also associated with demonology and our mother and our brother and our father are goats. We're an orphan. But it is an Undertale. What? This story is an Undertale? 
Th th that's that's my running theory so far, and uh, so far all of my theories, if nothing else, have just been bolstered by evidence, which is pretty crazy, actually, to say. What are these strings? Why am I not big enough? It's still dark, so dark. Huh, Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris! That's right, you! I need you! To be big with me! Very, very big! So big we'll stand up tall and see past the dark! Stand up with our heads in the clouds and look into... Heaven! I do think this is the Archangel uh, Michael, and God is the one kind of pulling his strings and he doesn't like that. Someone making you create a character? Deltarune is just his experiment. Remember the start of Deltarune? Yeah, I remember the start of Deltarune. Yeah, I also remember that your choices don't necessarily matter, but this is a video game. I feel like the 3D elements of this game are actually conduits for what's happening above the, the video game surface level. Like, Spamton is above the video game. Right? It makes sense. Jevil is above the video game. That's why he has nine goddamn phases when you fight him. And I don't even think there's nine enemies in the first chapter. There is so much love and attention put into Jevil, and I imagine is about to be put into Spamton. I'm pretty sure that is going to be an overarching story that is going to govern Deltarune at least. I haven't played Undertale yet, but again, I'll go in there with this in my head. So the confirmation bias will still be there. I just need that little soul you have. Why our soul? That's the thing. But if it's not the soul of the Antichrist or like some kind of other reborn angel of some sort, why our soul? Why is everyone trying to attack our soul? That's, that's my major question. All right, it's got his giant ding-a-ling pointing at us. Oh, we were saved. Good. Chris! The hell was that weirdo? Chris, we were worried about you, so... Chris, you have friends! Why don't you tell them about my three-for-one special? Today, the whole family can take a little ride around town. Oh, that is sinister. Attention customers, clean up on aisle three. Someone left their souls lying around. Because a human soul is the most powerful kind of soul? Still, we don't know why human souls are the most powerful kind of Are there any other humans in the game? Answer me this. Answer me that. Answer me, is there any other kind of soul in the game that we have seen? Because all I've seen is Chris's soul, right? Which is how I know that we are the player conduit. We are experiencing the story through Chris. I feel like we're escaping something and it's really weird that the rest of our family are not like us. It feels like an immaculate conception kind of thing, doesn't it? I feel. <laughs> all right, here we go, a bunch of spamton faces. Hello, friendo. All right, our soul just got golded. Okay. Why though? Oh. Uh. <laughs> wow. Okay. There are eight humans. When do we see them in Deltarune? When do we see them? Riss! Was that a big shot just now? Wow! I'm so proud of you, I could kill you! Heaven, are you watching? It's time to make a very special deal! Also, his talk of deals is very demonic as well, as well. No, there are eight types of soul? Okay. I haven't seen a single one, have I? Probably, uh, except for Chris's? <laughs> Oh, yes! We are bartering our soul again! Jevil did the same thing! Jevil did the same thing! I am so excited for this. Okay. Neo! That is, uh, oh, that is religious as well. Neo is, um, an anagram for one. Right? As in the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit kind of one. The Holy Spirit is supposed to be the one. It was in the Matrix as well. Red is determination, yellow that's justice. Okay, what? The, how come we have two souls in us then? That's weird. That's so weird. Okay, well, let's do attacks. Let's start fighting Spamton Neo. So he's the one. 
Gris, isn't this body just heavenly? Three times the firepower, two times the water power, and best of all, flying heads! Neo is the name of the armor? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Oh! Oh, but the, what the hell? Seriously? That's not that bad, actually. We can learn that one very quickly. Hold will release B to fire a big shot. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Boom, boom, boom. We'll dodge everything. We'll try and, like, fire a really big shot. We'll turn those schmoes and Daves into Rosen Graves. Those cathode screens into cathode screens. Okay. Ah. Right. It's like Space Invaders, but better. That's cool. Okay, spam some turns the audience and laughs. What audience? Boom, boom. Okay. A few hundreds. Chris, don't you want to be a part of my beautiful heart? Some powerful ones can temporarily change the meaning of your soul. We haven't seen any other, like, people with the soul, though, right? Oh, did you need a little special tour? Uh, boom. I'm going to try fire it at him. We're gonna try and blow up his bits. Whoa, and one more. There we go. Oh, what? We took that one. Didn't have to take that one, but we did. Okay, good. So we can't deal damage to Spamton with that attack. We are, we can only dodge. Right. That was a weird drop. It's also an Undertale thing. Okay. I probably should play Undertale, but this is going to lead to a massive game theory, I feel. Like, a huge game theory. Like, couple of hours long, kind of huge. Uh, let's get Chris to fight, and we'll get Susie to use a rude buster. Because it's probably not a bad idea. And Relsi can use a Hearts Donut on Chris. I think that's a pretty good use of it, honestly. 257, that's pretty good damage. Relsi used a Heart Donut. That sucked, actually. We got the crit on Chris, that's pretty good. All you gotta do is big! Then we'll be the ones making the calls, Chris! He is! He's trying to overthrow God! And he needs us to do so! He needs us to overthrow God! Has no one... Seriously, has no one asked... Why people... Uh, have the, uh, the, the... Has no one asked why humans have the strongest souls? Is that actually something no one's asked? Okay, I think we just, like... Should we just dodge these? I think we should just dodge those. If you need help, all you gotta do is press F1. No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Whoa, minus 60 HP, that's crazy. Let's use a revivement on Chris. And Relsi can... No, actually, Susie can uh, do a fight and Relsi can use the revivement. Because Relsi has the lowest amount of um, attack power. Whew. Got the crit on him for 165, that's pretty good. It's calling, Chris! My heart! My hands! Oh my god! Oh yeah, so much for this is not a horror game, huh? Oh my god. There is no audience. I knew it! I knew there was no audience! Okay, so Susie is down. Chris can do an attack. Relsi could probably use another revivement if we, we do actually have one. Good. Right, so Susie's getting up. Relsi used the revivement. Chris almost landed a crit. Chris, can you really look in my eyes and say no? Look in my eyes! Look in my nose! Look in my mouth! Oh my god! Boom! Okay, we took some nose right there. Piss, this one's actually really hard. Oh no! Relsi's down, that's fine actually, we'll just leave her down. Alright, how much health has he got? He's got 62 health actually, we're doing pretty well. Human souls are way more powerful than monster souls and dark souls. Right, yes, yeah, so, okay. All of the kids are gonna have these souls, right? So, those are the imaginations that they are influencing the story with, are these souls. That's what I would interpret from that. Uh, we can get Chris to fight, and Susie can do a rude buster. Boom! 287, that's pretty cash money. And a crit from Chris, nice! Your theory is very good, just one detail. I can't stand it! I think I'm gonna have a heart attack! Ah, oh, piss off. Alright, he's getting more powerful actually, but we are landing some really powerful hits on his heart. So his heart is blue. Is, is this like a corrupted kind of soul? Toby Fox, the annoying god dog itself, it's God. Well, Toby is probably the one dangling the strings, right? There you go. I think Toby is... That, that, that makes sense, actually, because Toby is the one programming these bosses into the game. 
So if they have inside information about who God is, there you go. Don't be fucked. Okay, let's do another attack on 50% spam to Neo. And Susie can uh, use a chocolate diamond, I suppose, on, on Ralsei. Get him up, I suppose. Bit of a waste of attack disciple, I'd say. Chris, I'll even give you a free value. Die now and I'll throw in 50 bullets for free. That's overkill. That is literally overkill. Oh my god, that is hard to dodge. Okay. Oh, we're dodging it though. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. Oh, nice. It's called... I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Uh, let's get everyone to drop damage, right? Chris can drop damage. Susie can drop her rude buster because it hits hard. And Relsi can drop some damage. Oh, 287. I like that. Boom. Oh, we got Chris's crit as well. Chris! If you give me that soul, I will give you everything I have! Because he knows our soul is worth more than what he has. I will give you three easy payments! I don't think that's actually what he's offering, to be honest. I feel like he's being, uh... I feel like there's a psyop going- Oh my god! Oh my god! It's clicked! It's clicked! It's clicked! The air crackles with freedom. That's what it said with Jevil as well! That's, that's exactly what Jevil's one said as well! That's, there's, there's, there's too many similarities. There's too many. There's too many similarities for me to look past them all, right? And uh, this theory is what happens when you don't immediately go into a wiki when you're confused. It's when you kind of like try and extrapolate the data yourself. I'm really happy with my theory too. Spam to Neo and Relsi can also do it. Boom, boom. And we've got to get, ah, oh, almost got. We almost got Susie's crit. Very close. Chris, take the deal, take it. Because they know they're trapped. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to be a heart on a chain your whole life? Oh, he's asking us to literally free ourselves. Oh, the Lord. Okay, Relsi's down. Don't really care. That is our lowest damage dealer. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, we also down Susie, which is not amazing. This fight may be a throw. It may be a throw. Unless we've got like one of those things that can revive everybody at once. We've got a club sandwich. Heals team 70%. Yes. Not to you, Chris. Ah, oh, Susie's still down one point. Oh, did you want to be? Did you want to be? What? Okay, he's getting the phone call from upstairs, right? It's for me! Spamton feels a sweet breeze as he takes the ride around town. I think that was God giving him an earful for trying to break his boundaries. Ah, oh, this is cool! Root Buster and Relsi. Boom! 287, nice. Boop, boop. Uh, we landed Relsi's attack, which is pretty funny. Chris, I won't force you. I can't. I can't force you. He's telling Chris to give him the soul, so Chris is free and he has taste. Right, okay, so look. Here's a trope with demons, right? Also, this slaps. This song slaps, this fight slaps. I'm really enjoying myself. Demons cannot take your soul. They cannot take possession of you. You have to offer it to them in exchange for something, and it is never worth the risk, ever. The demon always knows that to possess a person is going to be massively more than whatever they can promise somebody, especially if they're lying about what they can promise. But just look, Chris! Look at the power of Neo and ask yourself! The power of one! Power of God! Power of God! Power of God! Power of God! You can see the strings that you have attached to Chris. You can see the strings that are actually attaching uh, Chris's heart to Chris, I think. We are the heart. I think we are the heart and Chris is supposed to be her own, like, entity that uh, just kind of ignorantly goes around her life. Well, don't you? Don't you want to be a big shot? Whoa! Whoa! Biggin! Oh, this one! Oh, we... D oh, okay, so we need to, like, stay at this far end. We got Swallow! We got Swallow! Whoa! Oh, this is a freebie. That's the scythe attack. We can do that one very well. The Power of Neo is the name of an Undertale song, and also it's the Power of One, which is commonly referred to as God's Hand. <sighs> oh, I love religious studies. I'm so glad, glad my grandma taught that for 30 years at a university. <sighs> okay. I love my grandma, by the way. Uh, we're all, we've got him down to 10% health as well. Can you actually believe that? Look at this! We've almost killed Spamton first go. That is crazy. 
All right, uh, Chris, the stage lights are shattered. Ah, he knows he's breaking out. I think that's what that's supposed to represent. We'll do a rude buster on him because it works and Ralsei can do an attack. We can't really whiff the next ones, right? Okay, we almost got two crits, very, very close. <gasps> yes! Wait, stop the presses! Ha, 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 Chris! You think depleting my 8,000 life points means you've won a free meal to winning? You've won your ticket to heaven. My name is Spoiler and I'm here to say with the power of Neo I stand in your way. No! No! Neo! Rius! Your deal has failed! Neo never loses! This is victory smoke! It means it's time for my second form! Oh bugger. Okay. Are you ready Chris? For my next trick? I will fill my body with electricity and become spammed in X! X. X, 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 X. Spammed in X. Are you ready, kids? Turn up the juice! Turn up the juice! Make sure you don't get it on your shoes! Are you getting all this, Mike? I'm finally... I'm finally gonna be a big shot! Here I go! Watch me fly, mama! Mama? It's not talking about Toriel, is it? Don't even think about it, it's another Undertale reference. Okay. Okay, I'm seeing the obvious ad pieces, right? I'm seeing the obvious um, inspiration for that ad you mentioned in 1997. But, still so many similarities from re religious. It seems after all I couldn't be anything more than a simple puppet! But you three, you're strong! With a power like that, maybe you three can break your own strings! Let me become your strength! You got the Shadow Crystal. You got Puppet Scarf. Do we kill him? Do we, do we actually just kill Spamton first go? No shot! No shot in 15 minutes! Oh my god! Relsi's weapon? Yeah, I had a hunch. Alright, let's equip Relsi with it. Uh, get her to be less crap than she is. Alright, Papa Scarf. It has no ability. Her magic goes down, but her attack massively inflates. Yep, we did! We actually beat Spamton first go in 15 minutes. No shot! And we broke open lore. That's probably going to carry on to the next chapters as well. I am so happy right now. This is awesome. He was a really fun fight too. He was um, very, very well made. He obviously didn't have as many phases as Jevil did, by, uh, by a long shot, but he definitely had the same kind of love and care put into him, didn't he? Yep, but. Okay, we're safe. And there's always a but. That's okay. That's okay. When there's a person, there's a but behind them. Every time. The real fighters in the snow grave? Ah, oh, we can't go there for the first one, can we? <laughs> hey, so. Are we seriously not going to talk about any of that? That was goddamn weird. Okay, Susie is now warming up to the idea that maybe there's something going on beyond the level of imagination, right? Beyond the light world. There's something happening that's a little bit sus in the real world. Because no one imagined that. No one imagined that. Puppets, strings, hands. What the hell does any of that mean? And the way you just... Broke! I... I don't think it meant anything, Susie. It just seems like it was a corrupted program. He turned into our ally, so let's just accept it. Shell! Shell that doesn't exist! Shell! Shell! <laughs> Wait, Relsi is in the void! We haven't seen anybody else in the void. No one real in the void. So it's an imagination. We put the imagination aside, right? Susie has just... Push the imagination aside and is saying, hey, let's talk real world for a second here. Riss, you've got goosebumps. You okay? In her shoes, she would not be okay, right? In her shoes. No. Chris, are you okay? You're yelling. There, there. Everything's all right. Don't think about what happened too hard, okay? Just take some deep breaths and think about it. Something you like, something nice, something soft. I'll be right next to you until you feel better, Chris. Yes, Ralsei's right, Chris. 
Whatever just happened, I guess. Maybe it didn't mean anything. I don't know why you came here, but let's just be glad you didn't get killed, huh? Just tell us next time. You're gonna do something stupid like this, okay? He's shilling. He's shilling. He's shilling for God. We are we are something. We are something very important that is not elucidated on in the base game whatsoever. At all. Like, not even once are we told what we are. Don't say it. He, does, he doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. He's a figment of our imagination because our brother is gone. He literally just calmed us down, right? He didn't even interact with Susie, necessarily. He specifically went to us after we felt weird. Susie felt weird too. Ralsei didn't jump to her aid. Ralsei jumped to our aid. So I, it's still being reinforced. I hate to say it, it's still being reinforced. Okay. I've got a, a weird feeling that our brother is gonna come back, right, in a future chapter, and then be all like, hey, there's a battle between good and evil, and I wasn't actually off at university. I was, I was off, and I was uh, going and studying how to exercise ghosts and stuff from video games, and now I'm here, Chris, in the real world, so now we can play the game side by side. Hey, who the hell is that purple brontosaurus thing? I think that's gonna be the, um, then Chris is a psychopath. She may be a psychopath, or she may just be built differently. Like, we don't know. She's definitely not a sociopath or a narcissist. We just said we don't feel anything. Right? No, we just said we feel. We, we said we feel. Okay. So, now it's just like the normal game as it progresses, right? Okay. Good. Okay, we're moving on. This is the actual way, right? Pottery not respected. No, it was not. I stood on it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so clumsy. Oh, Susie, do you want some? Yeah, she wants some. She's off to go crush some of her own. Relsie, do you want to maybe blow some of these up as well? No? Nothing? Yeah, it's just the normal game. Okay. Man, I can't believe we beat him first go. Is that... Is that a flex? Does that... Does, do any other YouTubers actually beat Spamped in first go, or did we just absolutely hit the holy grail, pun intended, of, uh, of fights? Okay, we go up here, right? The teacup? Yeah, I think we go up here. We have to ascend, don't we? Okay. Uh, let's not hit these things. I don't think we're supposed to be hitting these things. Oh, I can actually see the shadow on a uh, right. So you don't look above you. Ah, I just figured out the teacup minigame. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Hello, sir, how are we? Welcome to the second floor dinner party, section A. Please help yourself to anybody's food. Wow. Now I know of some YouTubers that did it first try. Okay, are there any that are crap at bullet holes like me who did it first try? Or do they do it as like a career? They play Undertale games for a living. There's supposed to be another guest here, but they're late. It's me! They called and said something about blue check marks. Blue check marks? I don't recognize that. Uh, that guy's having a platter for dinner. What's this guy want? Yes, yes, Queen is right. Send error report, send error report. Couldn't agree more. Send error report, send error report. Okay. Nice, they got a little bit of a uh, checkbox. What the hell is this? I am Mouse Million. I stand leagues and inches above all other mice. Only Nubert remains above me still. Nubert's moving up in the world. Okay. He's got a wig under here. Okay. They're wearing wigs. Got him. No, I know some. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, you do seriously expect me to not understand which one it is? <laughs> was there anything else? Wow, that key was volatile. Was there anything else under there? I don't think there was necessarily. Okay, that lady is going to be frowning for the foreseeable future. Whoa, okay. That was good to know. I'm going. Right, what's this way? There is this uh, lady doing the old, uh, this trick right here. One floor. Left shortcut to one floor. Really? Do we open it? Okay, let's open this platter. All right, fine. I'll play this again. All of them are bombs. I am a master at these games, by the way. I've been to street fairs and I have, um, what's it called? We, I have hustled people. Okay, there's one more of these right here, but we did just open up another little area. I have hustled people at the cup game. I'm really good at it. I'm really, really good at it. Always have been, always will be. 
I've got really, really good eyes as well, so it's probably got something to do with that. Okay, what's in here? Why are they dancing? Hello? Sorry, don't have to go now. That's absolutely fine. Thank you so much for getting me to Spamton, Axelino16. That was a really cool fight. Not as cool as Jevil. Still a really cool fight. It broke open so much lore that I'm going to use in the future. And every time someone argues, I'm just going to say no. Here's the evidence I found. It's one of Oh, that makes sense, actually. Okay, you go enjoy yourself. I'll uh, try and finish this game, and all of the videos will be up on YouTube for everybody to watch. Oh my, oh my. The kitchen is infested with vermin. I knew we should have properly finished dumping all the cheese in that alleyway. Okay, what a dick. There are a lot of mice over there. Do we fight them? What the hell is that? Mouse wheel spins into you. Yeah, you don't say. What is it? Boom. Ralsei is now probably our major damage dealer. Wired is faster. That is absolutely- Oh, you penis! Wired is actually faster. I do not use Bluetooth anything. See you, dude. Have a nice day. By the way, I'll tell you the next Delta Room stream how to make the snow grave. Sounds good. Sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, since I've already beaten Spamton, probably not going to go back for the Spamton kill, but we're definitely going to try and pacify him. See what happens. All right, let's fight. Okay, we are a couple of attacks in. Oh, we got two of the three crits. We are grippable. We are many. Uh, we just want to like trail around behind us, right? Oh, first that was close. Damn, we took one of those hits, unfortunately. So it is uh, now getting into bullet hell territory. I think it just said smells like cheese in here. Okay, we did three attacks, which is pretty good. We are grippable. We are many. All right, is, are you firing your balls? Yep, they're firing their balls. All right. I've, oh, piss. I thought it clicked, but it didn't. It actually didn't click at all. Uh, we've got him down 32% of his health, though. Maybe one more attack cycle, and we'll be absolutely Gucci Golden. Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Threaten that needle! It's a cacophony of clicks. Okay. We did it! Thank you, Chris. We got 250 buckery boos. See, you have a great night, Axe Leno. Uh, so what do we just get for this? Do we get anything? Guys? Thanks for the help! We'll open up the East Dining Hall now. Thank you! Ouch, ouch. How do I get down from here? Oh, he's on an oven. That's pretty funny. Quinn's making us prepare a massive feast for our upcoming guests. I wonder if people can really eat platters, though. No, they can't, actually. It's made of metal, and metal is not very digestible. Especially not to something like a human. Which I am... We took that. Took that one right to the face like an idiot. Uh, we'll wait for that to stop, and then we'll go. Good. So we've got kind of low health. I think we're going to be pretty Gucci regardless, right? Because we've already made it to the next area, which is a huge hall. Oh, ploppers. Oh, ploppers indeed. Oh my god. What the hell are we supposed to be finding? Is there like a... There's not like a key in here, is there? Okay. It's locked. What's with this giant empty room anyway? Welcome to my extra extravagant dining bonanza. Only one of these delicious platters has the key. I am sure searching will be an addicting game of chance. How the hell are we going to search all these? Well, no time like the present to start, huh? Okay. That's a bit weird. Let's look around, see if there's like something that we can use to kind of like... There's got to be... One of these has to be different. Like, it's got to be a non-verbal cue. It's, it's just got to have something in it. What am I looking for? I have no idea. Anything different. Anything. Literally anything different. This one? No, nothing. Error. Results key not found. Did you mean give up? No, I did not. Oh, the platters got mixed up again? Uh, did they? Did they though? Hey! I saw that! Hey, there's something under this one! <laughs> Don't try to water run away, you little... It's Toby! Hey, wait a sec! It's Toby! Oh yeah, we're gonna clear all these platters now. Yes! Toby! Okay, we are actually clearing all of these platters. The key has to fall out of one of them though, right? Imagine if we did that manually. There's the key. Now we just have to... It broke it? <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Uh, that was awesome. Was that awesome or what? Um, maybe minus the blade and destruction. Let's go, Chris. We're almost at the third floor. Okay, big brother words already. 
Uh, this guy's chasing pots. Maybe it's a pop-up. I kind of want to attack it just to find out. Oh, come off it. Come off it. No shot. What the hell? What is this, Space Invaders? Oh, no. Okay. Let's open them all. Okay, their landing hits. We probably just want to go to the other end of the room, right? And then we want to duck and dodge until they get bored and leave. Good. Now this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh my god! They're attacking so quickly! Uh, oh, couldn't dodge that one. Absolutely not. No chance we could dodge that one. This one is... What are we supposed to be doing? Oh, there's a chest in there. That's funny. Okay, you open the treasure chest and inside was a glow shard. Glow shard was added to your items. Oh, we still haven't equipped any of our items. We've beaten Spamton without equipping our dudes with armor. Isn't that insane? Okay, we've got chainmail here. Uh, royal pin actually seems to be doing better. Let's get a royal pin on Susie. And what else have we got? We've got a dice brace. We'll do that. What the hell? A bracelet made out of various symbol inscribed cubes. Okay. Uh, here we go. So, Relsi can use the royal pin as well because we need her magic. And maybe the chainmail too because it gives her a huge bonus. The armor. Okay, good. I think we're in a pretty good place. Oh, piss. Hello. Wonderful. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, we're going. <laughs> Is that the queen behind us? Oh, wait. There was a room uh, to the east that opened up, wasn't there? Okay, gotta go. Oh, we had our chance, we just whiffed it. Okay, we're going. We took that hit, I didn't really care too much, but we took it. So let's go around these guys chasing the pot, like some kind of stoner. Uh, we'll come around here, hopefully we won't be ganked. We didn't get ganked, which is quite nice. I'm gonna tuck in here just... Seriously, Relsi? Okay, Relsi did that to us, hilarious. Uh, let's just attack, boom. Oh, nice. We got a double crit on Chris and uh, Susie. Okay, David. All right, they're, they're blowing our tits. They're doing tits. Tits are coming in. Okay, we took a hit. That's not good. They threw tits, uh, and it didn't exactly work to their favor. Oh, so close to triple crits again. All right, are you just going to bounce around? Whoa, okay. Didn't realize there was stars going around the place. Ah, Ralsei's down. Damn, she got hit hard. Boom. Good, and he's off. So I'm gonna go back, uh, we became stronger apparently. We're gonna go back, we're going to save, we're gonna get all of our HP back. Piss. Okay, I don't know what's this way. The Supreme Table. You won't be able to use this without the Throne of the Gods. Ah! Oh! Ooh! Okay. We can probably break the pots now, to be quite honest. We've already whipped this room. Boop! There we go. Boop! There we go. Got another one. Okay, so we could have gone through there organically, but we just chose not to. Uh, we're pretty close to the song just having the laugh track, so we might just want to go through at that point. Dun! Dun, 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 dun! And now we go through. Great. We've got a few more of them as well. We, I think we might have to wait for the... for the laugh track on this one. Yeah, that one's almost impossible. It seems like going into the flames is just really... Oh, it's peeking away now. But we're also about to get a laugh track. No, we're not. Okay, I'm going. Oh my god, that was clutch. That was so close. Okay, I know the trick to the teacups now as well. As soon as you see the the shadows, you want to avoid them. Well, okay, hello. Stop. What are you doing? Oh, no! Okay, that's fine actually. We can take a couple of the balls to the face. Uh, that's tea. Did Susie just drink all of it? Wow, nice. I love Susie so much. Susie's a great character. Uh, there's a book here about preventing backtracking. All right. Oh, hello, bird. Chris, Susan, glad to see you arrive unwounded. Now, let us hasten. Through here is a secret passageway to the roof. There, we can rescue five Lady Noelle. Uh, okay. Let's go, Chris. Oh, Chris! Chris is! Chris, you and your lackey distract the queen! Let's go, Susie! Just the two of us! <laughs> Fine, whatever. So, I imagine the reason Birdhead said that 
is because it doesn't exist, right? Ralsei doesn't exist. We're going to distract the queen on our own. While Birdhead goes uh, with Ralsei to go and get Noel. Briss, you really think of me as your lackey? Of course. R really? I'm happy to hear that. She's an imaginary friend. Like, I can guarantee Ralsei is an imaginary friend. I've never been someone's lackey before. That's lovely to hear. Okay. Susie has gone into a book hole with Beardley. You are filled with the power of book holes. Great! Uh, termites guide me. What the hell is this? Hello? The knight created the fountain and this world. It might be even more powerful than Queen. For now. The Queen has been very interested in the video recently. Where the knight creates the fountain by its own hand. Well, it's that and Cyber City's funniest on videos. I think that we are the knight. Right, I, I definitely think that we are the knight. And I also think that we create these worlds. These worlds literally cannot function without our imagination to project them through our perception. It's a little bit high-minded, it's a little bit weird, it's unpopular, but I definitely think that that is exactly what this game's story is. Above the surface level of all the cool characters, the quirkiness, the awesome bullet hell fights, the uh, Final Fantasy 1 to 6 style party battle system, the whole thing that everybody loves. What we don't seem to love is that there is actually story that just says, hey, this is all basically a dream sequence, right? I hate to say it, but I, I, everything that I'm finding is supporting this claim to actually be the canon story of the game. So let's talk to this guy. This is today's dinner entertainment. I've heard it's called the birth of a fountain. What an elegant name. I don't know if you've ever actually seen a fountain birthed, but it's not. It's not good. It ain't good. All right, this is a pit of acid. Ah, uh, a giant lake of acid? Oh, you mean the free pool. You will learn to love it like family. Why do you have this? It is my mansion's energy source and fun to drink. Bye, ha ha ha. How should we pass this? Okay, if there were anyone else here from the light world, the top world, this would not exist. This is a projection of imagination, I can guarantee it. I suppose this works. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Still slaps. What the hell? Now I have to think of some way to distract the queen. Oh wow, I'm so distracted right now! I can guarantee- that's, that's a Pokemon- That's a Pokemon sound! The ding, the ding -a What are these little houses? Just tropical villas for my guests. That isn't that thoughtful. How would anybody fit inside? Drink from the acid. Right. Chris, get the banana. Oh, for God's sake. Chris isn't gonna do what you say. I'm getting the banana. And the banana is mine! It, that's okay, Chris. It's good for you. I know! Wait, why didn't we, um... Why didn't we turn that one blue? Weird. This isn't a lore drop of our subconscious telling us exactly why we, uh... Hunted the way we are, right? You're right and wrong about how these worlds work, but I'm not gonna say what part is wrong. Okay, I, I don't read wikis. I'm literally just creating everything from my own head. And all of the evidence that I'm seeing is still supporting it so far. Also, welcome to the stream, Hypercake. Face bomb! I love that. That was way less awful than I thought it was going to be. Uh, huh? There's something blocking the way. Maybe we can find some way to get rid of this. Why? Why? Why would we do that? I don't want to do that. Okay. Not going to go that way. Ah. I feel like these will disappear after... Oh, maybe not. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm going this way. What's this way? What is this? Aside from a gigantic eyesore, what the hell is that? Sweet mother of God, what was that? Oh, piss. Are we saving this guy? Hey, buddy, what's up? I uh, probably want to hit this house again, right? No, we have to go somewhere else. What is this? Dude, what's up? Thank you for your help. I had gone up there to do a little house cleaning and got stuck. Did I just save someone? Damn it! I didn't want to do that. Okay, we'll swap this around so we can come up here. 
Okay, so we don't care about that one being closed off necessarily. We want to swap this back over because we already hit that one that we wanted to hit. Okay, that one's got both active, hilariously. Uh, so we need to hit this one to open up that path. I'm going to do this one too. Hello there. This guy huffs farts for a living. So we are going to kill him, put him out of his misery. Oh, one big wallet from Brelsey. Nice. Okay, so game memory, that's fine. I'll play, I'll play your game. I'll play your game. I'll play your game, Toby. And I'll sing his praises too. This is such a cool game. I literally cannot just say how enough, how innovative all of this gameplay actually is. It seems that peace has returned to the castle. If only a huge, like, AAA studio made, like, Final Fantasy 13, uh, 15. Final Fantasy 15. And so it was revived us. Great. That's probably going to be better than a revivement. But it's probably going to revive everybody in the party, actually. I'm just going to confirm that real quick. Right here. Uh, all fallen party members, 25% HP. That's actually worse than every single other heal item we have in the game. Uh, definitely want that one active. So, we want to trigger that one to come up here, don't we? Alright. We're in a different area. What the hell is going on here? Oh, we got to do the mice again. The mice found a dollar. You didn't get any. Oh! Oh, I see! Okay, so we got to lure the mice into the hole, right? Ah, they'll just cross the first path that they can. So if we just hit this one again, then we should be tickety-boo, right? Nice, we found the mice got 20 bucks. Okay. So this one needs to be completely gone. No, actually it doesn't. It just needs to have a triple crossing right here. Good, 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 excellent. Done! And Toby said that chapter three will have a lot of gameplay variation. It's going to be so fun to play. Man, I am so, or woman, I don't know who you are. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the next chapter. I am having a blast of it. And it's gonna be so somber for me when when it disappears, is that going to be a high five joke? Yeah, and then they disappear, right? Looks like the hand is out of the way now. Okay. Oh, I, I, uh, it's going to be bittersweet, isn't it? When the chapters end. Because you can just go back and play them over and over again. By the way, were you here when we beat Spamton first go? We beat Spamton first go. I'm so pleased. Okay, let's get back on the goose. Let's go, Chris. Let's get back on the black swan. Look at this thing gapping it across this acid. This game is acid. This game is acid to play. Like everything is mashed together so perfectly. Chris? Hey, Chris? Is it strange to say it's nice spending time alone with you like this? Uh, it's strange. It's lonely because you don't exist, but I also feel the same because you're my imaginary friend. I'm happy hearing you say that, Chris. When we first met, I was so nervous about first impressions. I even hid my face so you wouldn't see. How do I even be a friend? All I have to do is be nice, is what I thought. But I'm starting to realize being friends is more than that, isn't it? Susie, sometimes she isn't nice at all. She's selfish, she's rude, and she's sarcastic. But isn't it wonderful that she's her? Is what I started thinking today. It's the scars that make us beautiful. I've always said this. They're going to release chapter three and four. They finished chapter three at the start of this year. Nice! I'm so excited. And of course, Chris, it's nice that you're you. Uh, it's nice that Relsey is our imaginary friend, Relsey. Uh, huh? No one's, no one's ever said that to me before. It's because no one else can see you, buddy. I, I, I mean, everything's a first for me, but hearing it from you, um, it, it means a lot. Uh, I just wonder what being Relsey like even is. Sorry, <laughs> I got off track. Let's just enjoy the ride, Chris. <laughs> That's quiet here, don't you think? Relsey? Us just playing in the corner of the uh, computer laboratory alone together? But, wow, Chris, look at all those houses. I wonder what'll happen if, they, if we change their color. Gee, haha, Veltz, Worms, Rallies, Thoughts. Thoughts had said it the last death of me! Well, no rules card. No, he was in our pocket the whole time. Oh, rules card is based off of the, the rules card that was in the deck of cards. So we kept it as kind of like a trinket, a trophy. 
Just to remind us of the good times. I think that's why it's in our pocket right now. I think that's whatever represented Lancer must have been the trophy or trinket that Susie took with her, right? Ships how high if land lovers! Art thou ready to visit it, David Jones Lockre? Good. Could you not speak with more than one accent? Yeah! Alright! Oh, Mr. Rules, I just remembered Lancer, he's not well. Oh dear, didn't thou, um, try burping him? Perhaps it give him a sip of medieval ginger ale. Wait, I have not time to spare on such frivolity seasons. I must conquer this island and defeatest thou. Then, giftingeth her a succulent island present, the beautitious queen shall reward me by makingeth me her left-hand man. Ha! Me, the ultimate minion! Now, beholdeth the form of Bound Destroyer. Hey, it's a, it's a duck we created in the first chapter. I knew we're gonna have like recurring, um, uh, recurring uh, uh, elements, right? Whatever if this thing is. Oh my God, in the, um, in the kill playthrough we did, we made a duck, we just made a duck. This, this again? Ah, ah, squabbing with jealousy at my battle caravan. Tis an effigy of an ancient god of combat. I rescued it from the king's trash heap and fixed it up in this world's scrap shop. It's, uh, it's actually a rejected, uh, design we made. Ha, ha, and soon thou shalt take this, the, the, the rejection. First handed in the form of Varia's bullet assistant. Thresh machine reluctantly fights you. Oh my god, I didn't actually think that we were gonna have to deal with this. I thought it was actually just like a, hey, your choices don't matter. So, oh my god, who are we? Then the avatar that we made at the start of chapter one is actually going to come back as us, the player, instead of Chris, who is the conduit for the imagination of the story, right? Oh my god, that is so cool. If that's the case. Okay, we'll do some fights. Boom! Couple of big hits on rules. The rules are simple. Kaga houses. Whoever has the most wins. Uh, I. Is, didn't we already fight him like this? I feel like we already fought him like this, and it wasn't so bad. Your city is lacking crime. Uh, I'm. We've almost killed rules, which is pretty funny, actually. Oh my god! Ow! Oh, the houses. Now, bull. The houses. Yeah, you've you've got a bunch of houses. That's great. Also, I'm going to annihilate you. Oh, we had to take that one, I suppose. Okay, he's got 8% HP. Boop, boop. Nice, Ralsei, you killed someone. We got 240 buckery boost for that. So thou hast beaten the crap out of me. I suppose if that makes thou the thinkest thou health that one. Um, morally, no, physically, yes. Well, shivereth my timbereth, you little bimbo! We're in a battle of true power! <laughs> just realize what I said. <laughs> We're in a battle of true power! Rules shall rule! <sighs> Jen, ha 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 ha! Behold, worms! The real power of rules, God! It's Jen Stone. God! Damn it! Well, that worked. Ah, uh, that's right. Rules isn't compatible with this world either. Because no one else understands it. No one else understands it. The vessel is pro going to probably coming back, but that isn't happening until chapter six for reasons related to Guster. Don't know if you know about him. No idea. Um, uh, next weekend or the weekend after that, hopefully I'm going to be playing Undertale. But uh, until then, I've no idea what Undertale is, and I'll bury my head in the sand until then. So, Lancer turned to stone, rules turned to stone. Seems like the art of the trinkets that we had from the last PlayStation we had with only Susie are not transferring. I feel like anyone from this area here, that's going to take a photo of us, by the way, anyone from this area here who isn't like from our upper world is going to degrade into stone in the future, right? Unless everybody like comes back in some kind of like unified, hey, let's play a huge game of yes and, and there's no rules. Looks like the ride's almost over, Chris. Oh, there's a camera. Should we, uh, pose? Uh, we could do a rude gesture, but I also, if we hug Relsi and we get a photo, 
we get to see if he exists in the upper world, don't we? Chris? Did it really take a picture of that? Um, let, let's keep going. Ah, oh, thou just going to leaveth me here? <laughs> thou aren't even going to show with me the picture! <laughs> oh, that tickles my jollies. That was a nice boat ride, wasn't it, Chris? It was acid. We just sailed across a lake of acid. Where are we? Chris? Are you wondering how Susie is doing right now? Don't care. Er, are you sure? It might be interesting. You aren't wondering at all? Perhaps if you could potentially see it, would you want to? Uh, yeah, I can't, I am now. Well then, why don't we close our eyes and think about what she's doing now? So this is not what's actually happening. This is what we are picturing in our children's mind. What's happening? This, none of this is real. None of this is real. What, what a strange moon. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. This world. I wish Des could see this. Is somebody there? Okay, a couple of fart huffers. Oh, wait, what are you? Hey, you can't capture someone who's already captured. So this is rescuing the princess in the tower, which is a very common fairy tale to be told to children. I feel like we are now just kind of like, oh, what are their names? Um, Broomhilda. Broomhilda is the princess in the tower in German mythology. And I feel like Broomhilda is supposed to be this, uh, this, this girl right here that's being rescued. Simply because your father's in the hospitals, which is why we're imposing this on it now. Th Susie? You, you saved me. Don't throw the axe away, Susie. What are you doing? Don't get used to it. Um, okay, I, I won't. Cool moon. Yeah, yeah. But it's weird, isn't it? How do we get here? No, what even is this place? Uh, it's a. Uh... Do we just go with the with the with the the common prerogative? It's the tower in the evil queen's castle, or do we just say dark world? I think dark world is supposed to be uh, just a replacement for everything that's imagined. So let's just say dark world. Let's let's commit. Let's stick to our guns. We'll commit to that. Uh, you're uh, he's having a dream. Uh, huh? Oh, oh, that's right. Right. If you're here, it must be a dream. I mean, the real Susie probably wouldn't save me, would she? She probably doesn't care about me at all. Huh? Why would you, uh, think that? Um, she doesn't care about anybody. Well, fair. But... Did you ever wonder why Susie never picked on you? Why is she speaking to herself in the third person? This has to be our interpretation of the events that is happening. There is, uh, this, this isn't actually what's happening. This isn't what's happening. I, all the time. Maybe it's cause when she first came into class, you lent her one of your pencils. Like a dumb uh, candy cane looky one or something. And even though it didn't actually taste like candy, she uh, remembered your smile and uh, decided to spare you, you know? That's uh, really specific. Yeah, well, uh, so this is what Chris saw. Chris, Chris, Chris is the wall fly, right? The wall flower. Is the, she is the, he is the, it is the fly on the wall. They, they is the fly on the, on the wall. Chris interprets everything that she sees into this kind of universe, I imagine. Which is why we're interpreting all of us kind of having fun in the computer library. Why we interpreted us and Susie finally having fun in that back room in the east wing of the school. And why... These people are referring to themselves in the third person. Right? It's gotta be. Wait, did you say you ate the pencil? I mean, look! Uh, hey, so, do you dream about me a lot? Well, the time for me to get back to my project, huh? Okay, Susie, hit me with your axe and wake me up. Wait, no, I can't do that. Huh? why not? It's just a dream, so. Um, I mean, didn't you wanna, uh, hang out some more? I guess Barely can wait a little longer. Oh, 
All right, let's get out of here then. All we gotta do is head to the right over to this. Uh, over here on this, uh... What the hell? Heart-covered Ferris wheel, which we just saw! We just saw a Ferris wheel! We just saw it! So again, we're projecting imagination. What's the goddamn holder? Get on already! S sorry What the hell am I supposed to, uh, do here? Damn, Chris would know what to do! Yeah, cause Chris- Chris does know what to do! Chris is imagining this whole goddamn thing! Also, the options are eat moss, or point and hearts come out. I think eat moss, right? Makes the most sense. Susie seemed really bummed out that she couldn't eat any moss in the last chapter, so let's let her eat some moss. Actually, uh, maybe Chris wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, Ferris wheels, huh? Kinda makes you wonder what car they were built for. It's... it's different than riding one with Chris. The hell's wrong? You scared of heights? No, no, I, I love heights. <laughs> You're, uh, shaking. Well, um, maybe I'm a little scared, but I, uh, to be honest, I actually like scary things. What do you mean? When we were little, me and my sister would stay up. I bet she would love Sinister or Men. One of those two movies, right? It seems to be the scariest movies I've ever seen. Uh, Men for a laugh, Sinister for actual spooks. I go past our bedtime watching horror movies. At first I cried, but now it's like watching them makes me feel comforted. Comforted? I guess I do like slime and blood. It's scary, but I can just turn it off, right? Now it's mostly people that are scary. <laughs> you can just say you mean me. Uh, um, well, I guess you too, but this has got to be because her dad's in the hospital and now she has adult responsibilities. But that's what's nice about you, you know? Nice? The hell does that mean? You're the good kind of scary. You aren't afraid to break the rules. I wish I could do crazy stuff like you. Uh, let's do something crazy. So, um, if you could do something crazy right now, what would you do? Um, well, I, I, I jump out the window. Huh? It's a dream, right? I'd grow big angel wings and fly as far as I can, gazing back at it all. The skyline shining like holiday lights. That's kind of beautiful. Wait, you wouldn't seriously jump out, would you? <laughs> no promises. Zuzi, what do you think looking out there? M me? Um... Uh, says I'm the romantic, we're gonna ship them. Uh, seeing everything small makes me feel like, uh... If I was Susie Zilla or something, I could wreck the whole city. <laughs> Susie? Eh, uh, what? Is being Susie Zilla something you think about a lot? Uh, like... Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna lie. No, I just made it up now. Does your tail always do that when you're lying? Hey, don't look at that! I don't have a tail, it's part of your dream! Uh, oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'll just have to check in real life, too. Hey, don't! Ah, Susie? Everything okay? Look, I just, uh... I just don't like people knowing about it. Um, well... I think it's a nice tail. Whatever. It's wagging. It's not really how lizards work. You stop shaking. Guess I got comfortable. Me too. That was a sus look on Susie's face. Well, wasn't too bad. It, yeah. Sigh. If only I could dream like this every day. Maybe. It doesn't have to be a dream, you know? Zuzi? Maybe, maybe someday we could. <clears throat> no, well, my lady! The cavalry has arrived to rescue you! Oh my god, okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna end the episode right here. Are we ready? Are we ready? No! I skipped a bunch of dialogue! Oh! <laughs> okay!
Okay, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Deltarune, and right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I have made. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find the link to my Discord. Sorry, all the dialogue just threw me off. And you can talk to me and my community personally. And until I make the next video, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!